factor of aviary education is the ability to create a place where students put their completed work. So you can create a project area. And I haven't created any yet, so I'm going to create a new project. And we'll call this OTF demo project number one create a podcast or something. Summary podcast learning aviary education. I can set a start date and we'll set that and a due date. Hmm, let's see. Everybody's going to have to have this finished by Wednesday. And I can put all the info here about my project. Save project. Excellent. Okay, so, so actually people can comment and ask questions here. So students could make comments. I could respond if they had questions about the project. Okay, and now that the project is created, we can go to submit. And I can choose one of my creations and I can make notes uh, final copy and select the one that I wanted. We'll go with this one right here and submit. There we go, under student submissions you'll see that there's this one here. So the other part of this is I can go back to my creations now. Okay, and in my list of creations because at the very beginning, in the settings, I chose to allow students to comment on each other's work, I can click on the title of a creation, and it will take me to the page for that creation, and I can add a comment at the bottom of it, whether it be peer feedback or um, just kudos and commenting on each other's work. You can post your comment there and you can see that no matter what page I'm on I still see that project and what project this one's been created or sent or submitted to. So that's another interactive aspect of aviary that not only does it allow you to create and you can edit music but you can put final products up to the submit to the project so the teacher can just go and look at files that have been submitted to that project, but it also allows that the student sharing piece.